Carolyn Ribeiro here from mining.com.au and I'm joined now by Olympio Metals Managing Director, Sean Delaney. Hi, Sean. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me, Carly. Sean, talk us through what the company has interpreted from acquired survey data for your Cadillac project in Quebec, Canada. We've just announced today there's um, 400 odd hematites which have been identified using LIDAR and magnetic data. So, yeah, we're very lucky with that, lucky with our recent acquisition of the project. There's some very high quality data um, already available with the project, and it's been interpreted by senior geophysicists. So they're basically using LIDAR data and have outlined more than 400 um, interpreted pegmatites right throughout the right throughout the project. So that really just gives us a great starting point, I guess, for our exploration and our field work. It's a huge area. It's 190 square kilometers all. Uh, contiguous blocks and uh, yeah great opportunity to get to work um on the project straight away of these 400 interpreted pegmatites is there an area that you're more excited about we're obviously excited about the wells lacusia uh, prospect if you like which is where the drilling vision lithium the vendors had completed uh drilling the 15 holes that they had they had uh, released publicly they're a tsx listed uh company so and there's spodumin in the drilling there in the core um, grade of up to 3.14 uh, lithium oxide in the drilling results there. So obviously that's a great starting point. We know there's lithium there on the surface, good grades. We know there's lithium uh, in core at depth. So that's obviously a great start, but we'll just really fan out from there. As I said, there's a huge area that hasn't been explored yet. So, And why is that? Why hasn't this area been explored before? You know, it's, it's just really interesting. It's it's a bit further south um, than a lot of the James. The focus has been on James Bay, I guess, because of some, you know, large discoveries there with Patriot and Winsome. But look, this is, you know, this is within 100 kilometers of Siona's only operating lithium mine in, in Canada. So, you know, it's, it's I guess it's a growing province there. Um, you know, the lithium has been known about there since the 1950s. So, yeah, it's, look, it's very interesting. We don't fully understand why why it hasn't, I suppose, there hasn't more work been done. But in terms of location and access, yeah, we think it's brilliant. And in terms of the lithium results that are already on the project, yeah, yeah look, we think it's a great start. So, Sean, what news flow can we expect from Olympio in the coming months? Well, look, we're obviously excited to get to work on that, on the, on the Cadillac lithium project that we've just acquired. There's there's easy access there. You know, there's roads through the project. So we'll, we'll be getting to work there, getting some people out in the field while the field season is available. Yeah, at the same time, you know, we have a, a farm in agreement with Lion Town who are doing some exploration, lithium exploration on our Mulwari project. So we should have results coming from that. Uh, they're doing soil samples across all the greenstone area. So we should have results from that in the next month or so. We've just completed a drilling program at Halls Creek. And, and we have a very exciting rare earths carbonatite hosted project in South Australia, the Aurelia project, which we're going through the approvals process to get to get drilling on that Wallaway carbonatite. So uh, lots of news coming up in the next six months. Well, Sean, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Colin.